So today I'm going to show you how to clean a straw hat. Okay, so after a summer, whether you were trying to or not, you're going to have a hat that looks like this. What happens over time is, especially depending on the weave of the hat that you have, it's pretty porous. So it's just going to, every piece of dust out there is going to get there, especially along the sweatband. Your sweatband sits there, not only um, does the dust get to that spot, it just hides down in there. And your sweat, because of the condensation and the evaporation, it's basically a magnet. Now, the one thing you do need to know about these, these I almost call a disposable hat, kind of like a paper plate. However, you can get a lot of seasons out of these if you do a good job. The one thing you need to give up hopes for is that this hat will look new again, and that's not the goal, okay? So we can get it respectable again. So you can see, I'm gonna come up close here, I mean, it's pretty filthy. I've seen dirtier ones with cow manure and different things like that. Um, but you'll find that it's odd. This side, look how pretty that is. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so when we start to clean this hat, we're going to go with the least intrusive or corrosive way to do it. You might get away with just brushing a bunch of this off and be happy with the result. Because if you go to, you know, use water or something like that, it will, you know, affect this hat. If you soak it, it might not necessarily damage it, but that's not necessarily good either. So I would say start with a standard hat cleaning brush. A lot of people don't have these. They're easy to find. If not, a simple paint brush would do. The, the uh, more aggressive the br uh, bristles are, so stronger, probably the better. So I'm just gonna see what this does. And so you can, probably not in a video, but watch this hat band as I go around. Okay, do you see some of that's coming off? Not all of it, kind of more than I thought would. So maybe start there and get a bunch off. Same way you would do, you probably would sweep before you mop. Try to get as much of this off as you can, okay? You can see I'm going around in a circle. I'm gonna come up here. There's another dirt trap right there. Try to get as much of that off. Now, even though this other side did look dirty, it's got it's got dirt in there. So I'll just try to get as much off. And if that's, if that's all you want, bam, you're done. But I have a few more tips and uh, tricks. So the first one is a saline wipe, also known as your standard baby wipe. So that honestly just has water, saline has some salt in there obviously, but that would be pretty non-intrusive. So we're just gonna try that on part of the hat and all of it. So here we go. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna go till I think we're getting something. And you can see on that wipe, it is pulling more than just the brush did. Okay, so that's one of the ways. Those you may have around your house, you might not. Another thing that a lot of people have around their house is a disinfectant wipe, which has Clorox. So in theory, that's got, you know, pretty, aggressive chemicals on it. So same thing, you can clean with that. I'm not gonna demonstrate that. One of the most aggressive ways to do this is using isopropyl alcohol. It doesn't necessarily matter what percent. Once again, not necessarily something you have at the house, but a paper towel, spray the paper towel, not the hat so you don't get too much concentration on there. But this in theory should cut some of that dirt more so than maybe the saline wipe or something else. So I'm gonna spray that, not too crazy because if I go too crazy, I might as well spray the hat. Same thing, I'm just gonna get in there and start wiping. I'm gonna start at that hat band, the dirtiest spot, okay? And I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna show you my wipe. It might be hard to see on film, but that that's that's nothing to scoff at. So I could keep going, you know, around and around, and you can see in these little pores right there, you may not get that, but you can kind of work in a circle. You might go back to your brush, but that will, without saturating this hat with with fluid, clean this hat. So like I said at the beginning of the video, this hat's not gonna look brand new, but it at least will look pretty respectable, especially when you put your um, hat band back on, you're gonna be back in it and you don't need to buy another hat this summer.